Hey everyone, welcome to another webisode of Galooey's Mood Food. Today we're going to make you something that I used to have and it was my father's tradition to do this every Christmas Eve. He made bacala. Now, he used to jokingly call it uh, Bonatale Bacala. But what bacala is basically is a soul cured cod or white fish. It is so good. I'm going to show you a piece of what it looks like. When you get it, that's all salt. And it's basically fish jerky at this point. It's just salt cured, it's dried. Uh, it smells so good, it tastes great. And what you do with that is you take it, you rinse it. You want to put it in some uh, cold water, however much you're going to use today. Uh, for this episode, we're actually going to use about a cup and a half to two cups. But you want to Put it in cold water for two to three days. Let it rehydrate. You gotta change the water two or three times a day if possible. But what it comes out to be after two or three days is it almost doubles in size. It takes some of that salt, but it still has that beautiful salt taste to it. This is bacala, okay? Okay, the first thing uh, that we did, and I'm gonna thank thank them right now uh, my brother and my nephew sent us this bacala and it was such a great treat thank you so much we love you both Bobby and Adam have a great Christmas but anyway we started it <clears throat> we make it a little different than some people do everybody does a little different but the way we make it is we're making a dough and we already got our dough set here and basically it's a, a cup and a half of warm water, it has to be very warm water. You want to use a packet of yeast or a packet and a half of yeast. You want a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of sugar, one and a half to two cups of flour. Now that's basically you want to mix your your dough until it gets sticky and almost it's not a really a bread dough. That's why it's kind of like a bacala dough but it's almost between a sticky bread dough. And the last thing is three tablespoons of olive oil. Mix that all together. Uh, get your oven on warm. Just let it sit. And what you want to do is once you get your bread made and it's nice and you can see it's it's how it's kind of sticky here. Can you see that? See how that's sticky? That's the way you want it. And what you want to do is I'm gonna set this back here and cover it back up. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get your bacala and you want to shred it and basically it, it's it's a little Like I said, it's almost like rehydrated jerky, but you want to shred this up And this just tastes so I mean you could fry and eat this just the way it is But this and when you what you want to get is about I'd say for this mixture about a cup and a half to two cups bacala and I'm going to shred this up and what you want to do is after you shred it up you want to put it in your dough. You want to mix that dough and the bacala together. Get it all, make them happy. Marry them together. Put it on your stove. And you want to let the dough rise for at least about an hour and a half to two hours. And you'll see it'll probably double in size. And after we get to that point, we're going to be back and we're going to show you what we're going to do is we're going to deep fry these into a bread ball and there is nothing like this it's like you know fried fish off the hook with with this beautiful bread so y'all stick around i'm going to finish getting my bacala ready you're watching another webisode of glue's mood food bon Natale bacala that's what we used to call it stick around everyone we'll be right back okay we're back our dough we have our bacala in our dough it's risen it's been about two and a half hours we let it rise now we got our oil on about a medium high heat we don't have the fancy thermometers just get some vegetable oil or olive oil whatever you want we're using vegetable oil best way to do it put your hands in some olive oil forget the spoons grab yourself a nice hunk you stick it right in there You can hear it sizzle, can't you? That's beautiful. I'm gonna put some more 
gonna put one more. I want to do more than two. We used probably for uh, the amount we made today. It's probably about a pound of bacala, which is basically maybe about two cups, a little more. Give me a second to wash my hands here. Now we've already got one. Keep an eye on them. When they start getting brown, turn them over. We got one ready right here for you. This one's already cooked. Isn't that beautiful? That's what they're going to look like. You break them open. You got all that beautiful fish and everything. Um, I'm going to keep cooking these. We'll be right back. You're watching Galui's Mood Food. This is called Bonatelli Bacala, or just Bacala, basically, is what it is. If you're watching Galui's Mood Food, stick around. I'm going to keep cooking these beautiful things. Okay, we're almost done. We're down to our last couple bacalas. We're going to finish this up. Y'all stick around. We're going to plate these up for you and show you how beautiful. These do not need any kind of sauce to be put with them. Don't even think about it. Don't even dream about it. You don't want any kind of sauce with these. You just want to eat these the way they are. This is a beautiful thing. This is a Christmas Eve tradition that my father did so many years. And uh, again, I thank my brother, my nephew, Bobby and Adam for sending us this beautiful bacala. We got a chance to make some of this. This is great. I'm gonna plate these up for you. You can see how great they look right now. And they are just so good. They are, I mean, they're off the hook. So y'all stick around. You're watching Galui's Mood Food. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, we're back, everyone. Again, you've been watching a, a webisode of us uh, making bacala, which is basically salt cured cod or whitefish. It's usually you can't find it anywhere except a specialty store. Or an Italian store and it comes out at Christmas time because this is something that's usually made Christmas Eve uh, an Italian tradition is usually basically all fish Christmas Eve and this is one of the dishes my father I'm sure everybody's called it something different my father used to call it Bon Natale Bacala then that's exactly what it is it's bacala dough which is a little bit stickier than bread dough you put your bacala in after you soaked it. And look at that. Oh, it's still steaming. And you get all that great fish. You, you, you shred the fish, put it right in the dough. You deep fry it. Every bite is salty. It's such a good taste with that fried dough. You're going to love it very much. Thank you again for watching Galui's Mood Food. We'll be back again. Uh, since this is a holiday episode, Merry Christmas and prosperous New Year, everyone. God bless. We'll see you again soon. Take care.